can do that. That's fine. I'll just talk. OK. So you get to hear about open web apps. You don't get to see them. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about uh, my experience with a project called Sandstorm. Uh, Sandstorm is an open source platform for self-hosting web applications. Uh, you don't have to host applications for yourself. You can also host them for other people. So we're hopeful that this project will let organizations host, uh, host like alternatives to Google Docs, as well as individuals with their own data. Um, so, so who am I? Uh, I'm not a core developer of Sandstorm, but I picked up Sandstorm and wrote an app for it. Uh, so if you have any serious questions, uh, I'd recommend going to a core member of the team. But uh, as for the experience you might have building an application for Sandstorm, you can ask me. Uh, next slide. So, so before I talk about Sandstorm specifically, I want to talk about Unix, because I think everyone here will know a little bit about Unix. And in Unix, we have, uh, we have lots of small programs. And the OS gives us a lot. Uh, the OS gives us user management. We have document management with the file system. Um, we get a lot of stuff for free. And for me, that's really nice, because I can sit down at my laptop and write a script. And there's very little I have to do in order to get something usable. Uh, and in fact, all I really have to do is translate standard in to standard out. If I want to do more, I can, but that's the minimum. In the modern web, we have a different situation, and application developers are responsible for everything. If you have an idea and you want to get that out to lots of people quickly, first you have to implement user management, document management, permissions, deployment, and then you've got to take care of all of the security. And that's not something you do once, that's something you do, and then you get a pager at 3 a.m. and you have to wake up and patch servers. So it's a big barrier to, uh, to entry uh, in order to develop an open web application. Um, so, so on with desktop software, we have this, uh, we have this uh, thing with Microsoft Word and LibreOffice. And the people in this room will tell everyone, oh, use LibreOffice, don't use proprietary software. But what do we have for Google Docs? We don't have anything right now, and I think this is a problem. So Sandstorm is a platform which is Apache 2 licensed. Uh, you can run apps in Linux containers, and it's hosted by anybody. It could be hosted by yourself under your bed, or it could be hosted by an organization that you actually trust, unlike an organization like Google. Um, so the, the, the application that I wrote for Sandstorm is called Hacker Slides. It's really, really simple. All of the credit goes to Ace Editor and Reveal.js, which are two great projects. All I wanted to do is have both of those in a browser window and then sync them up nicely. So that's what I did. It took me a couple of days. And there's a lot of stuff that I didn't have to do when I wrote that. I didn't have to do all of this login stuff. I didn't have to do document management because the platform hosts, uh, does this for me. Uh, all that said, I still got a full Linux environment, and I still got to pick my uh, technology stack because Sandstorm runs apps in Linux containers. So you don't have to use a PHP API or something that you really would rather not use. Um, and because I'm not hosting this application for people, it means that I don't stay up all night worrying about security, worrying about how I'm going to patch the next heartbleed when it comes out at 3 a.m. So weather permitting, we'll be having a workshop after these lightning talks. It actually won't be at 1700, it'll be at 1800, which is when this whole session ends. Uh, come by and talk to us about Sandstorm, talk to us about ideas that you have, and uh, if you're interested, you can ask me about the applications that I'm developing. Thanks.